How's it going, everybody? And today I'm back. And apparently, on the rise of the internet, it, uh, people should be a little more rational. There is a good news and bad news. The good news is that, statistically speaking, the younger generation, which is from young millennials to generation alpha, which is the youngest generation, which the oldest person among that generation is nine years old, so they already reached the age of reason, statistically speaking, are a lot more educated, a lot more rational, and less likely to believe in nonsense. Here's the bad news. Despite that, if you're young and you're acceptable on the internet, especially with our current form of social media of Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, etc., there's a lot of channels or videos they're trying to believe in conspiracy theory and, you know, like sightings of ghosts and stuff like that. While in reality, that is not true. And you see, video like professional made companies who are made specifically to educate try to teach you bullshit like for example the history channel trying to prove that bigfoot exists it does not exist remember and they used to have the ancient aliens uh, series that convince millions of people that you know brown people or people of color cannot make civilization because if you look at any ancient alien theory it never takes place in a white man's civilization. It's always in the people of color in Egypt, Mesoamerica, India. Never were the white people, with the one exception of Stonehenge, but they barely mentioned that. So it's like, it's, it has a racist foundation by the person who made the Cherry of the Gods just straight up went for racist in his sequel. Say that goes with Tecta, where you have giants are real and other pseudo archaeological nonsense about cyclops and uh, giants and like modern day di neo dinosaurs which is the which is basically dinosaurs never went extinct you know so t-rex are still around somewhere i don't know how the fuck you gotta do that but yeah it's a lot more nonsense Like you see these many videos of people trying to convince that this shit, this nonsense is real. You know, they're, they're trying to believe their understand of reality. There is another channel that I will admit I do like. I like the channel, I like his editing, I like his style. But the problem is the way he describes himself in his channel. That is, he is, what if all legends were true? He is considered a cult researcher. Yeah, I don't mean the academic type. It, it doesn't clarify that. Uh, he is also a myth weaver and a truth seeker. These are many buzzwords that I see floating around around the new age and conspiracy theory, you know, nonsense that has no basis in reality. If you want to know how reality is, if you really want to know about the external world, what is truth, what is fact, what is reality, Right? I can put links in the description of materials you can read to understand what is reality. You are not talking about like in my opinion. No. This is an objective fact that can be transpired and corresponds with the truth. Right? The no amount of opinion will change. It's like gravity. If I drop this ball, where well, I don't have a ball with me, you know, it will go down because of gravity. No amount of opinion will change that fact. Right, it, it's like that. If you want to know what what reality really is, it, it, there are some links in the description. Like here's some videos like uh, demonology is playing in obsessive. I like the video. I like his editing style. But like I said, demons do not exist. In fact, I will say it right now in this video, the very concept of theism, of the supernatural, of the paranormal, of the proto natural, you know. The, the very concept of transcendence, the immaterial, you know, stuff like that does not exist, cannot exist, and will not exist. It is metaphysically, ontologically, philosophically, logically, scientifically, and mathematically impossible. Concepts like God, the afterlife, magic, angels, demons, anything that is false by default the only way for those things to even remotely 
to exist is within the physical, spatial, temporal world. If it doesn't fit of those things, which every religion and every culture who believes in this nonsense, it they believe that is some that is not physical by nature, it is false by default. Like I said, there's also conspiracy theory about the inner earth, you know, Atlantis, you know, again, like, there's a lot of, no like, the videos are good and entertaining and well edited. If you want to be entertained, okay, but if you actually believe that these things are real, like, 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 the, he's telling the truth, no, it is complete false, with no basis in reality. The only thing the closest we can get that he has any merit behind this is the if Yahweh was a dragon. There is some scholarly debate, although on the very fringe side of it, it's still a legit debate about the the early history of Judaism and what their God used used to believe it in some shape or form. Because remember, Judaism was originally polytheism before transitioning to monotheism by the influence of Zoroastrianism. You know, like these videos, they're good, they're well made, but they're not based on any fact at all, with the possible exception of the Young Way Dragon theory. And there's also the man, the myth, the legend himself, Spirit Science. Like I said, this guy goes on the deep end. He believes that Jews are from space and in the future. Don't ask. Like I said, it's magic over your head. He doesn't believe in medicine for the most part. He believes very promotes very dangerous idea that actually people promote. He actually sells stuff promoting these harmful ideas. Right? You have to be careful where you go. If you really like I said, go to the description of my video and you will see if there's material to understand what is reality, what is true, what we actually know. Right? Like I said, the there are, there's a lot of nonsense in this video. Like I said, what exactly are emotion, which is basically supernatural nonsense from at the death by midnight at the death stranding logic. You know, there's also the belief in of Hindu version of reincarnation, which is false, mathematically speaking, false. You know, the nature of the soul, which does not exist. You know, conspiracy theory of everything. Again, there's a lot of racism in, in his ideas. And also, like I said, like these are bad. Not only bad for your health, the, some of the things he wants to promote. Bad for the human progress. Yeah, I don't mean progress in a racist white people. Like, it is inedible. But uh, there is a way to improve ourselves without going to this nonsense of theism, of supernatural, paranormal, proto-natural, immaterial, transcendence, non-physical, spaces and timeless. These things are false by default no matter how hard you want to believe. And that's just my rap for now because there are many videos I will recommend dealing with those things. Yeah, I'm just, I just mentioned two or three examples. There are so many more on the internet that is by far it goes even worse, especially the conspiracy theories, you know, like the iceberg, like Wendigo, I love his videos, but it doesn't keep promote it like they're fat. It's just like, hey, these are cool, I want to talk about it. You know, that's different. <laughs> so yeah, there's gotta be a link in the description to want to all the reading really material to understand what what is reality and not believe in this nonsense based of outdated ideas of people who didn't know any better.